Hi Cancer, welcome to your 2017 love reading, January 2017 love reading with Island Girl Tarot. I certainly hope everyone has gotten the New Year's off to a great start. Um, thank you all so much for your likes, shares, and subscribe. If you're interested in a private reading, it's islandgirl2008 at gmail.com. That's islandgirl2008 at gmail.com. That island girl has two L's on the end of girl. Join me Saturday, 10.30 a.m. Central Standard Time for a uh, live Facebook feed. Um, I think it's going to be snowing. I'm not sure. I, this one, I am a little raspy because we are having a change in the weather. <clears throat> and my allergies are all over the place. Look, your card just flipped out, so I'm going to keep the chariot out. Um, cancer, so that's always exciting. Let's see. When you flip out. So... Um, if this does not resonate, check out your moon and your rising sign. If you don't know how to get those, Google your natal birth chart, free natal birth chart wheel, and you need your time of birth. That will give you that information. If you have any questions, just shoot me an email. If this does resonate, by all means, leave me some feedback. Ooh, cancer. You know, I'm telling y'all, this has just been a theme. This is like the fifth reading I've done today. Aww. And I just think there's hot sex everywhere. <laughs> I think there are some folks out there that are about to have some major fun. All right, first of all, cancer, you have got an unexpected uh, suitor coming in, shall we say. He is going to rock your world. He is going to sweep you off your feet. He's your, he's, he, you know, this is the karma card. The center of the reading was you. You fell out. Here you are with the chariot, and underneath the chariot is the lovers. So, I mean, I, I don't have enough hands for all of this. But with the wheel and the chariot, and I just think that the, uh, the tower is telling you that it's going to be in an unexpected way. It's going to be in just a very bizarre manner that you meet this person. Uh, the reason I think the sex is going to be so great is, well, we've got this. Um, I don't really see a third person in this scenario. I believe the person coming in could be a Virgo, uh, maybe slightly older than you are. Um, and... You know, they could be, it's somebody that you're going to have a really great communication with, okay? Y'all are going to have a, a lot in common with the temperance in, in, in the Page of Swords. The Page of Swords being messages, conversations, um, that kind of thing. I, I just see a lot of activity around this relationship. But with the lovers and the devil next to each other, I just see it, and again, Travel has been a theme um, throughout all of the readings, and either the Ace of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles, whatever comes up along that just makes me feel like travel is going to be able to be paid for, and it's going to be pleasure uh, for the most part, and you might meet this person while they're traveling, while you're traveling. Um, the temperance card just might caution you not to overindulge, but I mean, you know, you do have the the devil here, so she's a she's a balance in this way. Um, I guess you could, if you're already in a relationship, this could be, um, you know, this could be a third person involvement, uh, but I don't see it as how am I going to put this. I don't see it as somebody cheating. I see it as, come on, honey, let's let's have a threesome, you know. Um, and that would certainly be shocking to your world if you had not considered that. So, you know, and then you may shock yourself again and go, okay. So whatever. Uh, floats your boat and makes people, you know, stay together and be happy. I'm all for it. Um, no, honey, I don't mean us. <laughs> to my Gemini husband, who probably, if he sees this, will fall out. But um, I just think it's a beautiful reading. I think you guys are going to, again, have somebody that comes in and just sweeps you off your feet and just makes, you know, just makes the next 
uh, part of your life move forward. And I just, I just see it as a really, really nice relationship. You know, the Knight of Cups is the boyfriend card. Um, and I just think with, with the lovers in here and the other cards, you know, the wheel just on its own, um, is karma, is a karmic card. These two cards here would tell you to meditate. If you have any questions or you have a sense of doubt or whatever, by all means, don't not listen to your intuition, meditate, go within, you know, listen to your higher self, meditate right before you go to sleep, dream on it, buy crystals, put them under your pillow if you're really that conflicted or you're just scared, but I really don't see that. I just, I think it's a leap of faith, um, but I think you're going to be rewarded, especially with the temperance angel. I just, I really believe it's a beautiful relationship. Love is a beautiful thing, Cancer. So please, I hope it resonates with every person out there. And I hope everybody has a fantastic um, rest of January. Again, join me Saturday, uh, the 6th of January, for uh, a live feed on Facebook, Island Girl Tarot. Take care. Hope everybody has a great weekend. Bye-bye.